Gentlemen, get your sacks ready, because it's about to go down. Now just hit the damned red subscribe button, I know you want to. Like, if you love COD and memes, then this is the place for you, and if not, then what, what are you even doing in this hood? So Treyarch dropped a bomb at an ungodly hour this morning, so um, a tad bit late to the party, so I wanted to bring something new. So Treyarch did announce the winter event Operation Absolute Zero. Now once again, a lot of the content has already been covered by other YouTubers, and if not, we already knew about a lot of this stuff. We've been talking about it for like two weeks at this point. Like hijacked, new weapons, new specialist, yada yada yada. But something we did not learn about and gives us a big question is, where's the boy? Where's DLC 1? So we know DLC 1 is close because of all the zombies leaks, once again, literally just showing up in people's games. So DLC 1 is like, coming very soon, but we haven't heard anything about it, and if it was coming in three days time, don't you think we would have... We, we, we would know something about it? So DLC 1 does not seem to be coming this coming Tuesday, and then two weeks after that it's Christmas, then a week after that it's New Year's Day, so there's like two holidays on Tuesdays where DLC 1 is not going to drop. So I'm guessing it's going to be next, like, next next Tuesday? I'm confused lads. It's coming some Tuesday. Now we know about the Zombies DLC 1 mansion map, uh, Night of the Dead? Or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, actually, today, the multiplayer maps have leaked, and believe it or not, they leaked from the Call of Duty companion app. Nice leaks, dude. So, yeah, this guy on Reddit posted this from the COD companion app, Black Ops 4 multiplayer maps, Elevation and Madagascar. Madagascar? 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 Yo, that hippo's thick. So, the map elevation really could be anything, to be honest. But, Jesus, how do you say? Is it Madagascar or Madagascar? Why, why can I, why do I not know? <laughs> Please don't crucify me. But yeah, that map is actually a location wise. It's like island off of Africa. So, if it's anything, I'm guessing it's me like a, kind of like, I know, there's, there's African maps in Modern Warfare 3. Sure, let's just say this map's going to be like village or something. I don't know. So yeah, elevation really could be anything. So there's something I really want to bring up again, and it's my opinion, and it's not going to change anything. It doesn't really matter, but I definitely want to say it is. DLC maps should be different, right? They're not base game maps. Not everyone plays them, and you have to pay for them. And by the looks of things, you can't even buy them separately. You have to buy the Black Ops Pass to have access to these DLC multiplayer maps. So please, for the love of God, make them different, make them exciting. I don't want this to happen. So this was a meme from Reddit, and it's it's literally true, just look at it. This is literally every single Black Ops 4 map in existence. You know, give me a DLC map, which is something like High Rise, right? High Rise, one of the best COD maps ever. And not only that, High Rise can be considered a free-laned uh, medium-sized map, but think how different it is, like, there's that huge flanking path underneath, there's, like, loads of build, like, things you can add, you can go on, like, roofs, and on top of cranes, you can ascend to the ninth dimension by just climbing up a ladder, it's amazing. Why don't we have stuff like that anymore? I mean, sure, it would be ass, like, some guy camping up there with his barbed wire and, uh, uh, barricade, but maybe, yeah, you shouldn't have put that crap in the game anyway. And then, I guess that does give us a look at what map packs are actually going to look like in Black Ops 4, because this was a huge question mark, like, what's it actually going to be? Because, of course, there's normally 16 DLC multiplayer maps, unless it's COD World War 2, where one of them is replaced by a war map, and then, of course, for one Zombies map with it. But now there's only 12 Black Ops Pass maps, so by the looks of things, it's going to be, each DLC is going to be one Zombies map and two multiplayer maps. But then, there's also going to be maps for free, just like Nuketown and like what World War 2 did as well, stuff like Shipment and Winter Quarantine, maps for free, and then also blackout map updates, like Hijacked is coming, so I guess that's fair, fair dues, fair dues. So there you go guys, there was a huge nuke of information that I do, I did kind of want to talk about, but once again, big YouTubers have already got it out there, the news is not new, and then this news is new and I can bring it to you, so... There you go, guys. We've got a massive week and a massive year ahead of us in Black Ops 4. Hopefully, this kind of launch period is kind of over in a way. And now we're really in the content, the new content season with frequent stuff. 
So yeah, it's going to be really dope. I really look forward to it. Guys, stay spicy and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, my brethren.